Yo, what's up guys? It's King Sean here and we have some breaking news. William Jackson has been traded from the Washington Commanders to the Pittsburgh Steelers. The trade is getting finalized now per Ian Rappaport and we are expected to get some late round picks from the trade. So I will be discussing um, that in today's video. But before we get to in today's video, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe and turn on notifications on the road to 900 subscribers. So if you could hit that sub button, I'd really appreciate it. And let's get to the video. All right, so like I said earlier, per multiple reporters, sources, William Jackson, the Washington Commanders are trading William Jackson to the Pittsburgh Steelers for a couple of late round picks, um, as Tom Pelissero says on the screen right here. Great move, great, great move. We needed to get this done. We really did. And even if we did, could, didn't could um, find a trade partner to trade William Jackson to, we would have cut him per Albert Bree. I'm pretty sure he said um, earlier in one of his tweets, but... This is great. This is really, really great. We needed to get this done. William Jackson, he was all right last year in 2021, but so far, through the four games he's played for us this year, he's been absolutely terrible. And I know we run a lot of zone coverage. I know we do. But even if we play man coverage, he still gets cooked for some reason. He still gets cooked. And sometimes he's been having um good coverage on his guy, but he's just been getting, I mean, who? I mean, those catches. Um, he's been allowing it's just, it's just terrible it's just terrible he's been playing terrible this season i'm happy we got him off the books now um i take a look here um nikki jabala tweeted per otc the commanders would say would have three million dollars in dead money in 2023 2024 and 2025 from william jackson's um prorated bonus but we would ultimately save 20 12.75 million dollars next year so in 2023 basically so what this means um, is we have five million dollars in cap space for 2023 right now. So um, trading William Jackson would save us 12.75 million, which would bring us um, to about maybe 17, close to 18 million dollars in cap space, which is great, really great. We didn't have, we wouldn't be having that much cap space going into 2023 offseason. So we needed to get this done, even if we cut them, uh, we would have still saved 20.75 million dollars next year. So this is great. Great, great move. I mean, William Jackson, he just needed to go. He He's just been playing so bad this year. And even last year, I said he was playing good last year, but that was really after our bye week, which was week eight or week nine. That was really after our bye week where he started playing better. Before the bye week, he, was, he wasn't he was good. He really wasn't good. He wasn't great at all. So um, I'm really happy we got this done. I am so happy. I think the Steelers play a lot of man too so I guess that's a good fit for him as well the Steelers needed someone they needed to get some because I think they're kind of banged up in their secondary right now so they needed someone and they traded for William Jackson so thank you so much Steelers for taking him off our hands and um for now on we're gonna, we're gonna have um Benjamin St. Jude starting in his place Kendall Fuller on the outside maybe we'll trade for a cornerback before the trade deadline ends um and then we'll have um probably Rashad Wild Goose in the slot so that is it. That is all I wanted to discuss about today. If you've seen, the trade deadline has been really crazy today in the NFL. Even um, yesterday or the day prior, um, I think Bradley Chubb got traded to Miami for a first. Calvin Ridley actually just got traded from the Falcons to the Jaguars. Um, competition hasn't been released yet, but that's just crazy. He's suspended for the whole entire 2022 season, of course. The Jaguars have to figure out a way to extend him for next off season, for next year. So um, it's just been a wild, wild day. Um, I think Jeff Wilson just got traded from the Niners to the Dolphins, but it's just been a wild day until the trade deadline. And we made a trade. Hey, Ron Rivera, congrats. I got to give you your props on that. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, um, comment what you guys think about this trade. And with, other than that, it's been King Sean, and I'm out. Peace.